Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Naval Ops Warship Gunner. Last time we put night-capable aircraft on our carrier, and this time we're going to keep going with some missions. Um, sink four enemy cruisers. Sounds nice and easy. Let's let's see what they have to say. We have received a signal from Mission Command. Our next mission is to sink hostile cruisers. A surprise night assault is to be launched on a strategic enemy port. We are to sink Empire cruisers stationed there. There is a wolf pack alert for the area. The route to the enemy port goes through submarine infested waters. Now, I would consider using the um, cruiser, but uh, I actually just had a failed recording of this and uh, reset it. And during that, I used uh, the cruiser and I almost died because it just does not have a lot of health. So, I'm going to have to just ignore the submarines, but I'm going to have to use the battleship because the cruiser just does not have enough armor to deal with the enemy ships, the surface ships. We must ready our anti-sub capabilities before leaving dock. We can embark any time. I do have one scout plane on the battleship, but it is not night capable because Germans are not strong in the air in this game. And I haven't advanced air attack very much for that reason. You know, I just, I don't use carriers, I don't use, uh, aircraft, really. Alrighty, fix the crash. And I noticed it that time, so I didn't have to scrap the whole recording. Um, there is a missile launcher over there, but there's also a transport right there. You can just barely see it. So we're going to go deal with him. And just, I just want to double check and make sure. Yeah, I figured. Just wanted to be sure. But I kind of figured, it, it, I was really sure that I did not have a knight-capable scout on here. I don't have any knight-capable scouts, period. Um, and I'm not even sure if the Germans get one later on. They might not with their, uh, bad aircraft. It's possible. Yeah, I'll just shoot at it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to aim high anyways. There we go. Accuracy is gonna go way down the drain here, but, oh well. If I need a good mission ranking, I can go back and do it later. So, yeah, that was nice shooting. There we go, HP restore. I haven't taken any damage, so that's great. This enemy over here is just a submarine that we can't do anything about. So, yeah. I'm not sure what that shore battery is shooting at, though. That's weird. Yes, hello, submarine that I can't attack. Oh, well. There is... I put it in a, in a caption on one of the episodes, but there is a um, anti-sub missile launcher that you can put on battleships, but you won't get it for a while, and I'm pretty sure it's a mission reward for an A or an S rank, so it's kind of hard to get, um, and you can only get a couple of them, as many as you can do S rank, so if you have the patience to sit there and do the same mission over and over again, more power to you, just to get more of those things, but um, it does exist, it's in the game, it's just kind of hard to get a lot of. Okay, shore battery, I see how you want to play. Jeez. 400 damage from one salvo of a shore battery, of all things. Oh my gosh. Stop. I got engine damage. Really? Oh, I hate engine. engine. Yep. That's not going to work. So let's try that again. Gosh. I don't know why I bother putting my engines in shift placement, because it doesn't seem to help, like, at all. Still get my engines damaged every every mission. Usually multiple times a mission. There's more torpedoes and stuff coming in. I'm just gonna hang out in intercept mode for a little while until I can get close enough to actually nail these guys with a good a good solid salvo. So many torpedoes and stuff. I can't barely get a break to just shoot. I cannot believe he survived that whole salvo. But whatever. <sighs> And in this case, a broadside does not necessarily mean I have more guns firing, because of the, the layout. I'm taking so much damage, and I just can't do anything about it. No, what? Uh, I really don't like this mission, because of all the stuff that's going on, you can't really get an opportunity to shoot at anything. This is doing worse than the cruiser was, ironically. I don't know why that is, but... 
I don't know why this is going so much worse than it did with the cruiser. This is just weird. I have more armor, more health, and bigger guns, and it's just... it's not really helping. I wonder if the mission changes a little bit based on whatever ship you have. Oh, there's a Nagato here! That could be part of it. I don't remember seeing a Nagato last time. And he has missiles. I was actually too close for the missiles to track to me correctly, so they just went right over top of me and slammed into the water on the other side of my ship. Not complaining. I only have one repair kit left, so hopefully I don't take too much more damage. Some survivors over here. Kagero. Another Kagero. These are just destroyers, which is why they're going down so easily. I cannot believe those cruisers were surviving a, a point-blank salvo from my ship's uh, guns, though. Is that a ship running away all the way over there? It is. Hey, you come back here. I believe those are just submarines. Yep, just more submarines that I can't do anything about. There is one ship over there, though. I want to go get this guy, though. Oh, uh, who should I go for? I don't know. Maybe I should just leave before I get more bad luck and sink. I don't know, though. I'm kind of stubborn. Do I have rockets? I do have rockets, but I'm too close to use them. Um, let's try him against this guy, though. I might be able to get in range pretty soon. Hey, come back here. There we go. I don't expect much damage here, but... I'll whittle him down while, I, while I'm closing the distance. More torpedoes, more torpedoes from the submarines. This Alba. Yeah, these guys have way more defensive power than I was expecting out of, the, out of these guys. And these submarines are still being annoying with the torpedoes. Come on, come on. Get off the sunken ship and move. There we go. I'm gonna say screw it and I'm gonna leave because I don't want to sink. Like I said earlier, if I need a better mission ranking, I'll come back and do it later. Yes. Please. Oh, and aircraft are starting to come in too. Yeah, no. Nope. Not doing it. The sinking of the enemy cruisers has allowed the landing strategy to succeed. The liberation of this and surrounding areas moves ahead unhindered. The success of Operation Alchemy is imminent. I am super duper happy that I only got engine damage one time. Like, I'm still mad that I got engine damage, but at least it only happened once and not three times like it has in the past. Because it is extremely annoying. And then usually you don't even get a status restore when you have your engines damaged. And even if you do, you have to get all the way over there before the, the box sinks, which is not always easy. So... Oh gosh, it didn't crash. That's amazing. Thank you. Cruiser number seven, and again. That's good money to sell. Yeah, I wasn't expecting much out of that. Bad kill points, bad accuracy. Yeah. But I just wanted to get the heck out of there because that was not going very well. I can come back later with a higher level battleship or anything like that and, and do that again. So let's look at some tech. The usual routine. Do a mission, get some tech. Yada yada. I want to buff... Oh, man. Uh, I want to buff Metallurgy again to try and get another battleship. But I won't be able to afford it this time. Even if I get one. New boilers, new turbines, battle carrier one, that's odd. Not very useful for Germany though with their with their bad aircraft. Destroyer number five, I did not get a new battleship hull. I was really hoping I would, but new forward bridge looks just as massive as the other one. So no real advantage there. I guess we'll sell those cruiser hulls and then jump right into the next mission because there's nothing I really want to change right now. Um, I can't, I got the new boilers and the new turbines, but I'm not going to be able to afford them. I don't, well, maybe I can. I might be able to, actually, with all this, uh, all this, um, selling these old hulls. I might be able to do it. So, I'm going to go do that, and I will cut the episode so you guys don't have to see that. So, one second here. Okay, just got done putting on the new engines. Um, the new engines and the new turbines were so heavy that I had to actually reduce my armor by one step. So it's now 25 centimeters of armor instead of 31, but the ship is faster. So, yay, I guess. Uh, I'm not 
terribly excited about the fact that I have so much less armor, and now we have to go sink a battleship. Great. This will be fun, right? Right? No? Probably not. It's gonna be awful. Ah, well. A code red signal from Mission Command. The enemy have started Operation Veroldendir. Veroldendir. That's In response interesting. To the liberation of cities from the Empire's grip with Operations Witchcraft and Alchemy, the Empire has announced that it will bombard all FF cities with their super ship Archaeopteryx. He's actually not that tough of a ship to take down. We'll get to him eventually, but he's really not that bad. And you'll see why. They have declared total annihilation for all who support the Freedom Forces. Panic is spreading through the cities under FF protection. Our mission imperative is to ground Archaeopteryx before it can begin Operation Veroldendir. The FF are assembling a fleet to join battle with the super ship. We have been included. We must destroy Archaeopteryx. The Empire has sent a force to intercept our fleet. We expect to meet that force somewhere in Micronesia. Command anticipates that the two forces are likely to collide at night. We have authorization to sail as a free agent, staying clear of the main force. We must deal a blow to the enemy. Okay, let's do it. Take the battleship. And check the recording. I think it's it's good so far. We'll see how it gets. Uh, we'll see how it does when we get into the mission. That's the real the real test over there. Yay, we're good. Alright, there they are, right there. And they are pretty far away. Uh, Northamptons, okay, those are cruisers, not battleships. That's reassuring, kind of. I want to sail this way, so I'm not just sailing into the middle of them. Yeah. There we go. Get him, get him, get him. Get him. Nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, it's lagging. Okay, well now I have to sail into the middle and get the survivors. No torpedoes yet, though. Doing good. Hearts, ah, torpedoes. Me and my big mouth. What kind of battleship do they even have? Or is it not even here? It's not even here. This is just some other random group of ships. Live more, live more, or something like that. Never heard of that class of destroyer. But anyways, let's turn around and get the rest of the survivors. I mean, I guess we'll get the ammo too, I don't really need it. But we have a ton of friendly ships here, as you can see. Most of them are just destroyers and cruisers, but I'll take anything I can get. Here come the battleships. New Mexico class. Hmm. It's not uh, a particularly tough type of battleship in real life, but um, I'm sure in the game it's quite a pain. Oh, Tennessee class behind it. That's more. That's more of a threat. But we only need to sink one, and the mission's over. But of course, I want to sink the rest of them too, because mission ranking. We saw what an S rank can do. We want to get more of those. Ah, uh, more torpedoes. Here we go. Yeah, sink the destroyer. Get rid of the torpedo threat. Well, partially. Oh man, keep getting him. Keep firing. Keep shooting. Oh, I sunk two ships with that salvo. Nice. Tennessee class. Tennessee class um, apparently does not actually have more health than the uh, New Mexico did. But I assume that it had bigger guns. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyways, you can uh, see by the mini-map this is just a big open ocean mission. I actually really like these types of missions. It's really straightforward. Open ocean, no islands to dodge, no shore batteries to worry about or shore-based missiles, just go kill stuff. It's really straightforward, and it is my kind of mission, for sure. I see a survivor over there that I did not see before. Hopefully I can get to him before he disappears. Come on. Got him. Cool. Let's see. That one is following me. Um, if you hear the little bleep sound, they're they're collected. Even if they haven't physically gotten to your ship yet, their, their count is collected. So as long as you hear that little beep, then you're good. I want to stay around and finish killing stuff. Oh, the episode's going to run along. Um, next time, we'll pick it up right here. 
So I will see you guys.